Marvel's Gambit. Production on the Gambit movie has been pushed back to late 2016. Supposedly, uh, rewrites are the cause of that. And the director, Doug Lyman, I believe his name is, he directed Edge of Tomorrow. I really like that movie. Really like that movie. Good story. Uh, here's an adaption of an anime. But anyway, um, rewrites have pushed the movie back to start late 2016. It was supposed to start this month in New Orleans. Um, I don't know how I feel about this movie. Main reason, I'm not the biggest Channing Tatum fan. I'm really not. I like uh, some of his movies, and it's mainly the story of the movies, but he, I'm not a fan of his his acting ability. But he's, he did really good in some films. He really has. I didn't see The Hateful Eight yet, but I heard he did really good in The Hateful Eight. Um, I think he did good in uh, Fighting, A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints. But I'm not the biggest fan of his, but I... I I, I'm thinking he can play Gambit. I'm thinking he can. He has he has the look. I think he has the look to play Gambit. I picture him with that head mask on and the outfit and the hair. and He looks like he could be Gambit. Another reason I'm not too hopeful for this movie, I don't have a lot of hope for this movie, is because it's 20th Century Fox doing the film. Now, they dropped the ball a couple times. We've seen it before. I mean, Fantastic Four movies, which I thought was just hard to pull off more than anything with the Fantastic Four just because of their look. But besides that, the reboot of the Fantastic Four. Also, the X-Men series. I was never pleased with the X-Men series. I was excited for it. And at the time when they came out, I was younger, and we didn't have as many superhero movies as we do now. So we really didn't have too much to compare it to. But when it came out, you were excited because you were getting an X-Men film. But I always felt like they could have done better. I didn't think Bron Singer was the right director for that franchise and from what I understand and what I read that he wasn't really a comic book fan anyway at the time he um, started working on the films and there was talk that he didn't want to reference to the source material to, to the comics so much because he thought it would mess up the performances give a very 2D performance I, I, I don't know what that means but whatever the X-Men movies I was not really pleased with the a lot of the movies coming out of Fox Deadpool did really well, and that could just be good casting. Of course, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. At the same time, it could have been the studio's decision to do this right. Ryan Reynolds had a big hand in it. He wanted to do it right. He didn't want to do the film unless they did it right. 20th Century Fox messed up a couple times on their superhero movies That's with Marvel. So I'm, I'm not too... You know, I don't have... I'm not too excited about them doing it, but they might get this one done right. Now, if it's in the same universe as the X-Men films and Deadpool, that can only be a plus. That goes into pros, out of the pros and cons, it goes into pros. That can always help. That can always help this film. Connecting these universes together seems to be working really well, especially for DC. They're connecting their film universe, the movies, and they have television series, and they're connecting those television series together. That works really well. I enjoy it. The television series are really doing a good job. Um, Marvel, you know, they've been connecting everything since the first Iron Man film, since Marvel Studios has started making movies instead of just handing out the rights to their characters for other studios to make the movies. But this is great. It's, it's, it's great when you connect the universes like this. So I think that can be a plus. But like I said, I'm, I was never really, I really love the character Gambit. I really like him. I like his abilities. And he has some, like he has this irresistible charm that I don't know if a lot of people know about. But it kind of persuades people to believe him or to do as he says. It's not mind control, but it's like a very, very slight form of mind control. Power of persuasion. And um, I like his abilities. I like the character fighting style in the comics. So I, I, I like Gambit. I hope this movie does good. If it does good, I would very much like to see another Gambit movie. Sharing the universe with the X-Men, no matter what they do with the franchise going on forward. But um, like I said, I was never really satisfied with the X-Men movies. And um, I was satisfied with Deadpool. It pretty much stand alone. It didn't try to tie itself into everything completely that's going on with Fox movies, X-Men. It, it brought some mutants in, Colossus, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead. And it seemed to work pretty well. But it was still very much a Deadpool movie. And I think if they do that with this Gambit movie, that could work out good too.
Um, yeah, like I said, I, I, 20th Century Fox, I, I don't know how good they're going to do this movie. Doug Lyman, see what he does. You know, Doug did Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. Love Emily Blunt. Love her. Yeah, I'm not even too excited for this gaming movie. I mean, they're going to have to show me a trailer. I'm going to have to see it and get excited. I think Tatum's going to pull it off in this one. I think he's going to pull it off in this one. I, he, he has some skills. I didn't see it at first, but the more I look at him, whenever I see him on TV or in movies, I'm just like, yeah, he could probably be Gambit. He, had, he has the look. And he's very athletic, you know, agile, so he could probably pull off a lot. Well, anyway... Uh, write some comments. Let me know what you think about this Gambit movie, if you're looking forward to it or not. If you have faith in 20th Century Fox uh, doing the movie. Like the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.